the fuel economy is 5 liters per 100 kilometers. What I like about this car, you have the rear view camera, you have a touch screen infotainment system. It has the cruise control with limiter. It has the gear change indicator. Automatic lights, automatic wipers, start stop system. Keyless entry, keyless start. And this is the interior of the Kia Stonic. Beautiful steering wheel with leather. You have the automatic wipers, automatic lights, cruise control on the steering wheel. You have the different modes, push button ignition, keyless entry. This is the instrument cluster with different modes. You have the folding mirrors. which is really fast I like the touchscreen navigation system this is the map you have the storage area here two cup holders handbrake six speed manual with the rear view camera and this is the rear view camera with the guidelines here you can turn off the start stop system you have a storage area USB aux and a power outlet here you have the climate control, not dual zone, front defrost, rear defrost, hazards, lock, unlock, and this is the navigation. You can immediately see the traffic sign assist, the touch screen, this is the main menu, home, music, navigation, information. media it supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto this is the radio this is the media track map navigation Bluetooth connectivity this is the setup these are the settings two pages languages available these are the languages languages you have also English of course English selected you have the keyboard settings sound settings you can focus on different points phone date time Wi-Fi connectivity Bluetooth connectivity display settings dimming brightness and this is the map beautiful view You can choose these parts in different colors if you want. I like the feel of the steering wheel and the stitching. It's really nice, done by uh, Kia. Voice activation also on this car. You can answer the phone. Cruise control settings, wipers, automatic lights. You can leave it on this. Here you have the lane assist. Gives a sound warning and a visual warning. You can turn off the ESP tire pressure system. And then it continues, electronic uh, windows and the storage areas are really good and the visibility is also good, dimming mirror, you have the sunglass compartment, lights, now the city test drive of the Kia Stonic, the gear changes are smooth, short gear changes which is really good six speed manual it is uh, comfortable the seats are comfortable you have the automatic wipers automatic lights 
you have even the lane assist system this car for this price is really good you get a lot of uh, features for your money For example, you have the keyless entry and keyless uh, start. You have the rear view camera with the guidelines. You have a touchscreen system. This is the main menu of the car. This is the navigation. You have the traffic information. You get a lot of uh, car for your money, as I said. It has folding mirrors uh, because it's a high car you can easily get in and out uh, in the city the suspension is good not that hard it's comfortable which I like what I also like is the design of the dash uh, you can choose different styles uh, the only point of this car uh, Kia used hard plastic even on the doors but that's normal for this price range it has a Bluetooth connectivity system it has the automatic climate control it has USB inputs, AUX, power outlet you have a start stop system this car has 120 horsepower and 172 Newton meters of torque and the fuel economy is 5 liters uh, combined per 100 kilometers that's also good in my opinion want you can also buy it with leather seats it has a sunglass compartment as I said earlier now full throttle fourth gear 80 90 100 km per hour just like that 110 120 km per hour and it has six gears the sound isolation is uh, good a little bit more wind noise uh, the suspension is good you can adjust the speed of the automatic uh, wipers if you want we're traveling 120 km per hour beautiful view from the Netherlands uh, sixth gear, 120 km per hour, 2500, 600 rpm at 100 km per hour. The fuel economy of this car is 5 liter per 100 km. This one has 120 horsepower and 172 newton meters of torque. You have different engines. You have the 1 liter, 1.2 liter, and the 1.6 liter uh, diesel engine also available on this car. What I like about this car, during the test, I drive this car a lot and uh, I can say that this car uh, handles really good, it uh, accelerates really good for this kind of an engine, uh, 120 horsepower, you can really feel it, uh, you, never, uh, you almost never have to change uh, gear to a, to a lower gear, change gear to a lower uh, gear. So it's, it goes, it accelerates really good uh, and uh, I am pleased with this car. The only point of this uh, car that uh, I can say is that uh, it, uh, Kia used hard plastic on this car, hard plastic on the dash and the doors. But other than that, uh, I think that's normal for, for this uh, kind of a car in this price range. What I like is the design of the dash and the integrated touchscreen navigation system. This is a touchscreen, first gear, full throttle, second gear, full throttle, 60, 80 kilometers, 90, 100 kilometers per hour. Just like that. That's what I meant that uh, this car is powerful when I compare it to other small engine cars. 120 horsepower feels really good. And the cruise control setting is on the steering wheel. Now the lane assist. 
when you get over the lines without uh, turning on the turn signal, it gives a sound warning, which is also a very nice system. Just like this. Nicely done. Visual warning and uh, sound warning. That's also really cool done by uh, Kia. Uh, Kia as a brand nowadays uh, is uh, doing good things. Uh, you can buy, uh, for example, a sedan uh, with all the features. You can top it out with features, cool seats, heated seats, massage seats. And when you compare it to other companies, other brands, you can't get for that price a full car. So Kia is doing a good job.